Well, there are days where I wonder why I read the fantasy forecasts known as the weather <laughs> because according to the weather report yesterday there was supposed to be absolutely no wind today whatsoever so I said to Beverly right well in that case then we'll do some video editing but the day has turned up and there is wind lots of it and lots of it so come from the wrong direction of course it's supposed to be coming from direction a trust me on this it's uh, at least 90 degrees if not sort of like uh, a bit more than that a bit more of an obtuse angle to what it's supposed to be coming from it does say variable though yeah so they have got out of the out of that one with uh, the word variable uh but uh, it's saleable so Beverly and I are going to go off and sail. Um, if we had uh, stayed uh, on anchor, then I would have uh, hopefully gone and shown you the a piece of artwork called Cow in a Tree, which uh, you can see as you're coming in. And we were looking at it and thinking, what the heck is that? It's a peculiar wee thing. But we finally, finally found a reference to it, and uh, the piece of art is a cow in a tree. <coughs> Honest to goodness. Bizarre or what? Ready? Okay, uh, we're on standby. No pots. Tacking! Right, jelly packing. Those three. Is um, something called course made good. Velocity made good. Velocity made good. Velocity made good. And um, it's a combination of using the tide in your favour, um, also wind and things like that. Well, at the moment, everything is stacking against me. And yes, I am sailing. And you know, I love sailing. But um, I have a bearing of yeah, 281, that's the course I'm actually running, um, but my actual course, course over ground, is 293. So what's happening is i am got a westerly-ish course. But the tide is coming round and pushing us um, into the bay uh, that we're heading towards. Um, so we're having to tap quite a bit. Also, because the tide is against us, rather than a, a decent speed that we're doing, we're currently only doing 2.7 knots. <laughs> so not only is the tide slowing us, tide is pushing us 
away from the course that we want. Um, so it's just one of those things that obviously what you need is to make the tide and currents and everything work in your favour, but I just wanted to sail. You know, I wasn't worried about everything else. I just wanted to sail. I've missed it. Why well, are you going to nautical miles today? Well, yeah, we are oh, in. There's those pots we dodged. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're only going 10 nautical miles today. So, um, you know, let's get some sailing in. It just means that we might have to do a heck of a lot of tacking to get there. Well, it's all go here on Salty Lass. Um, Beverly is currently trying to fix our impella, uh, whereas my task is uh, to keep Salty Lass going under sail. Um, luckily, um, the conditions that we had, we put the after. We came out of the stags and the sea state was absolutely horrendous. So we thought the um, conditions were worsening. So we put the engine on um, so that we could get on in. But um, that must have been just a temporary thing because luckily the sea conditions have improved. So I feel quite happy sailing Salty Lass. We're still tacking like no tomorrow, but that's just life. But we're tacking out to sea, I'm on the tack out to sea so that I don't need to do anything, I just need to keep an eye out of the pots. You know, I've got the least to do because Beverly is working away, and trust me on this, she's doing lots down there. But uh, first of all, she's trying to find out how she can put this screw in, which has got no threads on. Well, we're under sail. The autopilot's piloting the boat. Um, we find this in the bilge. It's like a tiny screw that's come out of the side of the impeller housing. We didn't even know it was there. We do now. Um, the first I heard about it was the engine changed tone. And it's because there was no water coming out of the pipe. So we immediately shut the engine off. Uh, we're already under motor sail. Now we're under sail. Now we're going to put this back together. None of the engine alarms went off, so we don't think we've overheated the engine. But the, the first job is get this back in. Get the uh, seawater system primed again, start the engine on low and make sure the engine gets properly cooled and that this works. We'll need it for going into Baltimore. This is what Bubbly's done and I'm afraid to say it's not working. So it's going to be my job to see if I can come up with something. So that's what I'm going to do. Well at the minute I'm sailing the boat. Uh, Gainers downstairs doing intrepid engineering things and um, We've found out the cause of it. It's a plate that is sheared, but we'll talk about that when we get into Baltimore. Um, right now, it's just a case of sailing until we can get a good angle to approach Baltimore entrance. And when we do, we'll see if we can manage to get the engine to, to work long enough to get us in. Failing that, we will advise the Coast Guard of the state of the fact that we have no engine, and if they wish to tow us in, well, that'll be a matter for them to decide. But in the meantime, we're just sailing because we're safer out here than we are in close to the shore. So we're a mile or two offshore at the minute and as soon as we have the right angle we'll be turning in. Oh. How's it going, engineer? Well... Can you can you change the laws of physics, Scotty? Uh. But you need take it, Captain! Yeah, well... <laughs> I'm doing my best! You're doing brilliantly! Well... I've uh, been downstairs trying to sort out our issue with the impeller. Um, I put in a rubber bung which was doing an absolutely sterling job of keeping the whole um, bunged up. Um, but then <laughs> I actually realised that what it was doing, um, what the screw was for, was to keep a metal plate in place. So, although the rubber, bu the uh, wooden bung was closing up the hole, it wasn't doing that part of the ish, the part of the job. 
So I can see now that the the nut, uh, the, sorry, the screw is completely sheared off. Because basically what's happening is the plate inside the impeller is effectively the nut and um, the screw screws in from the outside, pulls that in and that keeps it all in place. But uh, as I sheared off, so um, it's basically like a grub screw at the moment. The point of it can keep it uh, the um, plate in place to some extent but the problem is and this is what is going through my head is that as soon as the impeller uh, goes round um, there's not enough grip for the grub screw because at the end of the day we're just using it as a grub screw at the moment so I am concerned, so what I think is going to have to happen is we're going to have to declare a pan pan. Um, we're still alright at the moment, we're still sailing, but we will need some kind of assistance to go in because what we're going to do is we're going to start the engine out here where we're safe um, and we know everything is okay. But um, I. I I know in my heart of hearts that as soon as um, the impeller goes round, it's going to move the plate, the grub screw is going to come out, and you know, it's going to be game over at that point. Oh, you pessimist. Ah, Beverly's calling me a pessimist. I think, uh, I think uh, the uh, pessimist, optimist uh, heads on the boat go from one person to the other. Beverly is the optimist today and I'm the pessimist. It's amazing. Normally it's the other way around. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm glad to report that our uh, efforts have had some success. We have water coming through the system again. Um, we only ran the engine very briefly. So the plan now is to get ourselves as close as we can to the entrance to Baltimore. Uh, under sail. Under sail. Uh, we will turn the engine on and if it continues to function we will sail up through the entrance. We will inform the Coast Guard. Uh, if the engine stops splashing we will immediately turn around, come back out to sea and declare a pan pan at that point. But more important emergencies have already emerged because Gainer apparently now needs the loop. <laughs> you didn't need to put that one in! <laughs>